It's always a good idea to check your receiver level. Make sure you don't lose any gas. I'm going to go ahead and manually open that valve right there. So you want to make sure your cutters are going to clear before you go start to pump stuff down. You got a mark. You got a mark. Time to pump it down. I'm going to close. First off, I'm going to shut off the liquid line feeding the store. I'm going to pump down the store for about 15 minutes. And then I'll wait till the compressors turn off. And once they turn off, then I'll close these two valves here which are the drain lines coming off the condenser and close that line over there, that valve and I'll isolate this pipe right here and then I'm going to go ahead pump the liquid out of here through my recovery machine downstream over here back into the condenser to clear this out We'll close this valve here. We'll close this valve here. Now you got to remember, when you're working with check valves, they're directional. So these valves are flowing that way. So that means I'll be able to pump this side out here. Now, if I had a my only hookup here, that means that it's going to stop the flow from going this way. So. It wouldn't be a good spot to try to pull the gas out right here. You'd have to boil it off and it'd take a long time. So you want to be downstream of the check valve so it pulls past the check valve. Past the check valve. And it goes over there and we'll just pull it right through. Go ahead, pump it down, shut off the liquid line feeding the store.